Princeton is this year's Cinderella story, so let's see how far Coach Henderson and the Tigers can go this year as we start in the Sweet 16 against Creighton. Coach Henderson loved Blake Peters' performances in the first two games, so he ends up starting him and he finds Alaco for a nice three to get Princeton's first points of the game. This will be a defensive battle early on as Hellman doesn't get him in time and he gets his first personal foul of the night but that doesn't matter going down two points Blake Peters passes it to Pierce back to Peters and Peters is staring down looking to make his move passes it to Caden Pierce and an easy three this has really been a special tournament for the Princeton Tigers and their three-point shooting they have been making them all tournaments so why not keep the train going? Princeton Tigers are up by three at this point, and with the sophomore still at the point guard position, he just pulls up a nasty long range three. The Princeton Tigers are now on an eight and zero run in this game, as Toastan passes it to Alaco. It's an easy three. Alaco now has 12 points in this game. Princeton Tigers not holding up from every other game but Ryan Nemhard with a nice bucket he has been their main player today for the Creighton Jays with eight points Blake Peters eyeing down Nemhard right now passes it to Pierce open in the corner easy three you do not leave these Tigers open Coach Henderson says great job and the Jays are up by two now Tosan finds Blake Peters and he scoots to the basket easy goes to everyone for his seventh point of the game tie ball game late in this first half but it looks like Ryan and Nemhart will get Kelman to get his third personal foul and he has been the spark the Jays have needed for this game and with only 40 seconds left in the first half Peters does a little shake and make, finds Alaco for a three, and Alaco scores his 15 point of the half with that one. And trying to extend the lead, the Tigers run a play to get someone open for an easy basket at the end of the half. But Blake Peters cooks Ryan and cuts to the basket and gets an end. On zero. Does not make it Baylor. Gets his first personal foul. Cannot say his last name. Blake Peters will end the half with nine points. What a game we have in front of us. Ryan Nemhart tries for the first half. Buzzer beater does not hit it. And we go into halftime with the score of 34 to 30 in the Sweet 16. No one has thought they would see Princeton Tigers in the lead at half as a 15 seed in the March Madness Tournament. But as Blake said, anything is possible. And he will start this half off hot with a nice steal on Ryan. And he dribbles all the way down the court to get a contested bucket. Just like that, Princeton is on a 9-0 run and they do not stop Caden Pierce with the, ooh, Harden back step and cooks him for a three. Big man Tosan taking it up the court, passes it to an open Peters, and he drains the three. Nothing can stop this Princeton team as they are moving ahead, and Ryan Nemhard says, nah, nah, not yet. Keyshawn Kelman has his fourth personal foul after that one. Peters with another play, passes to Alaco for three, and it is just like bread and butter for this team, and it says, so with three point, Blake Peters has 20 points so far in this game. And that will be the story of it as Creighton starts the foul. There's nothing more you can do when you're down nine with 49 seconds left. But as clock is ticking, Creighton takes the last shot. It is a miss and the Tigers move on to the Elite Eight. And it is pandemonium in the stadium as they do not believe it tigers win another impressive win and as blake peters takes player of the game honors they will move on and play whoever challenges them next 
It is between San Diego State and Bama. And we will see who comes out on top. Looks like San Diego State moved on against Bama. And Coach Henderson has put Ryan Landborg back in the starting position as the senior. Wants to give him his time on the turn. Yes, he has been playing great all season as the starter. This will be a tough battle for Princeton to get out of. Ryan Lamborg has the ball trying to dribble, loses it early. And Lamont Butler takes the Aztecs all the way down to the paint. And with the first bucket, it is a hard one as he goes to the defense like Swiss Chase. Langberg misses a three, but doesn't matter. Tosan goes up and puts it right back up two to four early on in this one. Aztecs with the possession here, get it stripped. And a nice little teammate play as Kelman now is down the court and dunks with ferocity. Tie game and the Elite Eight. This has been unbelievable. Alaco misses as Lamont Butler taking it up the court. Langbird takes it right back from him and gets fouled. Unbelievable. This has been. And now Blake Peter subbed in after Ryan Langbord's free throws. He pulls off this nice little floater in the middle of the defense. Don't know how he does it. Coach Henderson says, keep up the good work. Blake Peters drives and with another floater, says, get off me. He has checked in and he is in the game immediately. Blake Peters cooking. Ooh, makes them sidestep to the left. And Blake Peters, just like that, three for three, six points. And he's doing another cook session and dunks easy they cannot stop Blake Peters this tournament he comes off the bench red hot as this is just now a highlight tape for Peters unbelievable first half for this young man Aztecs miss but Mensa with the beautiful putback to keep them in range of seven points Peters finds Pierce for a three and just like that they are now up by 10 and Peters chucks up the end of the first half buzzer does not go in but they are up by 8 and competing with the best at the best time this Aztec team is not a pushover but the Tigers are balling out you see the score nothing has compared to any other team they've ever been on this is their chance to make history but as Blake Peters backs up Finds open space, hits three. They are now up again by 10. Prince and Tigers are no joke fighting. And Blake Peters with a and one. He is unstoppable. And Peters for another three from Tosan. Great assist. They are now on an 8-0 run. This has been an unbelievable run. It's Blake Peters behind the back. Dribbles in the paint and scores. Ryan Lamborg now back in the game. He does his own little shimmy. Blake Peters has done enough for his team. Coach Henderson has put Ryan back in the game. And Aztecs have been scoreless for the last three minutes. Unbelievable. Ryan Lamborg. Woo! It's another three. And they are up 48 to 35. Not much the Aztecs can do. Ryan Lamborg hits a shot at three seconds left on the shot clock extend the lead for the Tigers they look out to close out this one it's Ryan it's another three and then to add insult to injury Ryan is just playing with them on this possession as you can see he turns around flips back and shoots a three right in Lamont Butler's face to extend the lead to 20 points almost there's nothing much San Diego's taking new as they shoot their last shot and all they can think about is how they're going to get home because Princeton isn't going anywhere. And they're celebrating the win to the final four. And since this is NCAA Basketball 10, I will now tell you that you cannot control every single team in a bracket. So making the brackets were kind of hard and a lot of tries, and a lot of hard work and long nights. I was able to finally get some teams that are actually still in the bracket so as Princeton has made it to 
the finals of the final four they face off against Xavier. As Blake Peter starts in the championship, he gets the ball poked away. And Tozan goes up after a crossover from Blake. That should have been an easy shot, but it looks like Xavier is on the money tonight as they get a nice putback from Nunge. And they're on an 8 0 run early on in this one. What can Caden Pierce do? That's what he can do back up and shoot a three. It is now 7 12. Peters with a spot up three. It's an and one, and he will shoot for the four point play. Very rare in every kind of professional basketball sport as he knocks down. He has eight points already. Blake Peters pulls up again, knocks it down to get the score even closer. Kelman knocks down two important free throws to tie the game up. Four minutes left in the first half. And Alaco wants some of the action as he just pulls up in the corner and says, Give me that. Yes, sir. They're now up three and have the lead for the first time of the game. But Xavier will fight back and take the lead. Brian Lamborg now in, passes it to Caden Pierce for an open three. Tie ball game late in the first half of the championship. And we go to half. It is 28 to 30. 42% three-point shooting for Princeton. Not their best outing, but they are still firing them as Caden just pulls up. 33 to 30. This has been an all-out brawl in this one as Peters gets fouled again. Two points away from a tie. This has been a close match throughout the entire game. Love to see Princeton fighting for their life and for a championship. Caden Pierce, another three to extend the lead, 44 to 39. This has been an incredible run by the Princeton Tigers as Peters back in the game. First play, easy layup, and now Princeton is on a 9-0 run. Looks like Xavier is slipping as they had the lead for most of the first half. They are now down, and Blake Peters is 25 points under five minutes so far and this has just been a beating by peters the entire tournament who would have thought sophomore would have such a great tournament as he finds pierce and he drives in the lane dunks on their heads keeps them in the lead and kunkel from xavier it's a crucial three to keep it close 50 to 46 but Princeton Tigers knows how to pass the rock. Alaco with a great three makes it 53 to 48. Xavier now panicking. Fremantle puts them in a two point game with the big man three. What can they do in the final three minutes to take back the lead? But Peters is goaltended on, and that will be a very crucial play as the frustration kicks in for Xavier. The star point guard Bone would try to alley you to keep him in the game, but it is not successful. And with under 53 seconds left, Alaco pump fake scores a three to make it a nine point game. And as Kunkel shoots another three and misses, that will be essentially the ball game as Fremantle has to foul. And with 38 seconds left, Blake Peters. Another three to make it over a 10 point game. Blake Peters ends with 34 points in this one as he knocks down the last two free throws of his sophomore career. Princeton Tigers have done the unthinkable and with this amazing Cinderella run, they will be cemented in the NCAA basketball Hall of Fame one day, no doubt about it. I want to thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. More will be coming as Princeton Tigers and Coach Anderson lift the trophy. The confetti is on the court and the players are ready to cut the nets. This has been an amazing season for the Tigers. Let's hope they do this. I'll see you in the next one.